be happy to say. Yeah, just a quick one. I was, uh, when we were talking about cybersecurity yesterday, I was asking about, again, the priorities of what needed to be done. And I really came away from that as the first thing is we have to set the standards. So I just want to quick ask all three of you, who do you believe is best capable of setting the standards on cybersecurity? I think that the technical expertise on cybersecurity is in the NSA uh, and um, should remain there. They're best at it. In terms of being the public face to do the cybersecurity work that is not in the uh, in the in the uh, dot mill and dot well especially in the dot mill and dot gov space, I think the Homeland Department has to do it, implement it. But I don't think it should try to recreate the tech technical expertise of the NSA. I think there's a role for government in oversight of the standards. If I could give you an analogy, um, the blowout preventer that failed in the Deepwater Horizon spill two years ago was built to industry standards but was not subject to independent third party inspection mandated by the government. It is now. Mm. So I think we need to understand what is the role of government, how do we produce the effect. I think there should be oversight. I think it's logical it should be the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, how you evolve the standards can be you know, part of how the legislation is put together, but that has to be affirmed, there has to be accountability, and somebody has to be able to act on behalf of the American people. Okay, thank you. Mr. Skinner. I, I believe it's going to be a collaborative effort. I think NSA plays a major role. I also believe NSIT plays a role and Department of uh, Homeland Security plays a role as far as establishing standards. And those standards are not going to be set in stone. They're, they're going to evolve over time because cybersecurity is evolving over time. And as far as providing the oversight, you know, on the, at least on the domestic side of the House, I believe that should rest within the Department of Homeland Security. It's a logical home for it. Now, those were very government centric answers I mean is there any role outside in terms of private sector for you know in terms of the service providers that type of thing yeah uh, if I could just yeah. add um, I think that's a performance outcome uh, my, my basic training in public uh, public administration is an executive legislative and regulatory management I've worked in the regulatory field for uh, you know a couple of decades um, one of the things we've got to watch out for is we don't get this into a rulemaking process that takes 10 years. That just cannot work. So whatever we do that involves government has to kind of break the paradigm to bring the best of the private sector and get to a conclusion. Uh, what we want is a violent attack of sanity. The question is how to do it. And if I could just add, uh, as Senator Collins said, 85 percent, I think, of our capacity is in the private sector. And uh, the private sector in this area is much more agile than the government sector. So this has to be a collaborative effort. I thought you were asking who should develop or who should implement, uh, I don't now remember, but it was about the standard setting. Um, uh, yes, the legislation should set the standards or, or set up the process to set the standards. The point I was making is that inside government, our technical competence on this is at the NSA. Okay, thank you. 